Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I got to pick out some items from Charlotte Tilbury. So we're going to do kind of a try-on haul style video talking about some Charlotte Tilbury goodies. So if you want to see what I picked out, then just keep watching. I am so excited and incredibly grateful to say that today's video is sponsored by Charlotte Tilbury. If you're a newbie here, Charlotte Tilbury is one of my absolute favorite brands. I love the overall aesthetic of the type of looks that you get with Charlotte Tilbury. You know, flawless skin, glowy complexion. Quite frankly, I just think she makes you look flawless. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel really good, really confident every time I do a full face of her makeup. So needless to say, I'm really excited about today's partnership. If you aren't familiar with Charlotte Tilbury, she's the world's number one makeup artist. She is bringing her expertise from the red carpet to give every man and woman the confidence to look and feel amazing. And fun fact, if you didn't know this, Charlotte Tilbury was the number one growth beauty brand in 2020. And I can tell you why, because her products perform amazingly. Now is a really good time to shop on charlottetilbury.com because she is having her her summer sale which has a lot of amazing bundle deals so until August 16 you can get 30% off select lines and it's a page definitely worth checking out if you are interested in trying Charlotte Tilbury because there's a lot of bundle deals and if you shop on charlottetilbury.com you get free access to master classes taught by a pro makeup artists which is really really neat you know expert makeup is made easy for everyone everywhere and every day I'm really excited to dig in and just talk about some Charlotte Tilbury favorites and some new items. Let's get in a little closer. So any item that you see that you are interested in picking up will be linked down below for your convenience and we're gonna get this hair out of my face. The first item that I picked out for today's video is the Charlotte's Magic Cream. Now a number of the items in this video aren't really new to me. I got some different shades of products that I already love or, as you know, I'm moving, hopefully soon, so I am trying to get some products that is currently in my mom's collection that I really love to have for myself and to take with me. But one thing that I always, always order from Charlotte Tilbury is her magic cream, and I unboxed everything before this video to save time but I want to show you this neat box. I know it's a little bit overexposed right now. So you can't see the box quite well, but look at that. We love this. Really love this as an everyday moisturizer or for pre-makeup prep. I'm actually not going to open that one because I want to finish my baby one first. So we're going to use this. But it is the perfect lightweight moisturizer that I find to be very moisturizing. So it's not going to be something extremely lightweight, but... It sinks into the skin quick enough that it's the perfect prep before makeup. Now you can also use this as skincare as well. But I just love the way that this makes my makeup feel before makeup. So I tend to use it almost as a primer. And it's so good. I mean, I've been through many of these and it is pricey. But for me, I find it to be worth it. My skin really reacts well to it. I do have sensitive skin and it doesn't make me break out and I have dry skin as well. And like I said, it's the perfect level of thickness, but it's still lightweight that it really does hydrate and prep the skin. I picked up a new color of the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I love this. I feel like it's one of the most perfecting foundations in my collection. It's very, very full coverage, but I absolutely love the way that it looks on camera. So I love to use this before I film, but the shade that I had was number four and it's really light. So I wanted to try and see if I can get a deeper shade depending on the time of year you know I'm a little bit more tan right now so I picked up the shade 5 neutral so I hope this works for me let's find out keep in mind that this does oxidize in case you are my shade or around my shade I'm gonna swatch number four and number five next to each other so that you can see the difference. By the way, how gorgeous is this bottle? It's a very heavy glass bottle. It feels really luxe if you're into luxe packaging like I am. This one definitely is a little bit deeper. Okay, so this is shade number four. 
And then this is shade number five. You can see it is a bit more deep, not too terribly much, as much as I was hoping. But let's see how it looks on my skin. Now, the thing with this foundation is it really does need a little bit of time to oxidize. So what she does recommend is that you go lighter than what you would think you would need just because it does oxidize and I think oxidation is fine as long as the brand lets you know and gives you that head up which total respect for. I probably just put way too much on. Like I said this is an extremely perfecting foundation. <laughs> uh, very full coverage but I really didn't put that much on. A little bit goes a long way I feel. This is one pump. I know I said number five wasn't as deep as I was hoping it would be compared to number four but I actually really do like this color on me. It is a bit light on my forehead but foreheads are most likely the most tan part on your face but it actually it matches my skin pretty well. That worked out better than I was expecting. Thumbs up. Do you see how perfect my face looks? I'm gonna turn the light down just a little bit so hopefully you can see better. There we go. Now you can really see how the foundation is looking. It's perfect. I love it. So if I'm going out for the evening or I need that extra coverage, this is my go-to foundation. I absolutely love it. The next product was the Magic Vanish Under Eye Corrector. This is another one that I purchased another shade of. So I picked up the shade Medium today. First of all, how cute is this little mini Charlotte Tilbury product? And here is what the Medium looks like. I own the Fair, but I always thought it was a little bit too light. And I wanted something that had a little bit more salmon-ness to it. So as you can see, which one is the Fair and which one is the Medium? I enjoyed the fair a lot, but on days that I was extra tired I did feel like I needed something with a little bit more salmon to it peachiness, you know, so I'm going to try this today My under eyes aren't terrible today, but I love how this just melts when you touch it So this one is definitely for my skin tone for more heavy duty coverage I find that with the light I can almost get away with not putting anything over top. It's a little bit more brightening as well. This one is definitely going to be more for actual color correcting on my skin tone. Especially right here is where I would need it as opposed to brightening. Like this I probably couldn't leave alone. That's going to help on really, really intense days. All right. So I'm going to put on some concealer, some eyebrows, set my face a little bit, and then we're going to move on to the next product. As you can see, I also did eyebrows. I used the Charlotte Tilbury eyebrow products for my eyebrows today. Concealer, we're set. We're good to move on. The next product that I got is a new airbrush bronzer color. So I got the lightest shade in fair. I don't know. I wanted a lighter shade than what I already have, which is number two medium. You can see there's a pretty big jump between light and medium. Well, I do like the medium shade a lot. I've always wanted something a bit lighter. I do like to use multiple shades of bronzers. I don't always like just one. So here's what the light looks like. And it definitely was a lot lighter than I was expecting comparing it to the number two medium. If you're very, very fair, I feel like this is going to be awesome for you. I feel like there needs to be an in-between shade, you know, but let's see. Let's see. This is still adding a little bit of depth to my face. Okay, this looks really good actually. Sometimes I'm not really into a very deep bronzer and I want something really light like this. Okay, this definitely does pull deeper on the cheek than it looks and it gives almost like a no makeup makeup kind of look because it gives a very slight level of depth. Okay, I'm really, really happy with this. I think this is going to be really good if I'm wearing foundation that's maybe too light for me or maybe if it's like not the middle of summer. <laughs> uh, this will probably work well for me in the winter. But okay, this was what I was looking for. I know it seems like nothing, but in person, it looks really natural, really beautiful, just like a very natural shaded look to the face. I find that I buy bronzers that are not too dark for me, but they give you a real bronze. And sometimes I don't want that. Sometimes I just want a little bit of depth. I also feel like this is going to be really good for contouring the nose. Now, if you're around my shade and you're like, Morgan, what shade do I get? I do recommend number two for you. This is just kind of like a bonus. Like, you see how this looks really good contouring the nose? It doesn't look too harsh. I'm very happy that I ended up with this color. I was worried. It looks almost lighter than my skin, but you truly can see 
that shadow. It looks super good. Got a new blush. I'm pumped for it. I really do enjoy Charlotte Tilbury blushes, but I really don't own that many. I think I only own two. So I got a new shade to add to my personal collection, which is the Cheek to Chic in Pillow Talk. Now my mom owns this, but I felt like I couldn't be a true Charlotte Tilbury fan without the Pillow Talk blush. And I really like the Pillow Talk color because I feel like the center part, the pop shade, can also be used as a highlight. I'm going to show you the different layers here. So this is just the outside ring. This is the pop shade and this is the two of them blended together. So I feel like the Pillow Talk shade really does have a lot of versatility. So I'm going to start off with the outer part. And I'm going to blend this, focusing it on the back of the cheek and then blending it forward to the apple of the cheek. I'm using a Sonia G cheek brush from the new Lotus set. You guys know I've been using this a ton lately. How pretty is that shade? Just so wearable. I love the Charlotte Tilbury blushes because they're the perfect level of pigmentation and they blend out so nice. Now I'm going to blend the two together. I'm going to put this on the apple of the cheek because it's going to give a little bit of a glow because the pop shade does have some glow to it. How pretty is that? I always go a little bit ham with my blush just because I like the look. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use my Sonia G detail brush and we're going to go into the pop shade only. And I'm going to put this as my highlight for today. Now it doesn't necessarily highlight my face. I think if you have a deeper skin tone it will but it adds a glow when I turn my face. So it's more so about the finish that you get from this rather than the color. This blush is absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, I've had experience with it before and there's a reason that I wanted to add it to my collection. This is one of my favorite cheek to cheeks just because I feel like there's so much versatility with this shade. I picked up, I believe these are pretty much the final two eyeshadow quads that I didn't have in my collection. These are the Luxury Palettes, and let me show you the two shades that I didn't have. Now, my mom owns these, so I've used them before. You've seen them before. They aren't sitting back here. So I now have Rock Chick, which... <laughs> I love gray tones now. I used to not love gray tones, but now that I do, I felt like this was the perfect time to add these to my collection. Here are what the swatches of Rock Chick look like. So if you're into gray tones, this is so pretty. I almost bought this at Sephora the other day, and then I decided to wait for this haul. That one is really cute. And then I did get another one that I actually really, really loved, and I've been meaning to buy this one for myself. This is Uptown Girl. It's similar to Rock chick but because it has these two gray tones but it does have some lighter champagne tones as well i would say realistically you don't need both of these because they are pretty close to one another and if i had to choose uptown girl would definitely be the one that i would get super pretty though but these are close let me show you them side by side same kind of look though as you can see they are a bit different. Rock Chick is a little bit more deep. I think I've completed my entire Charlotte Tilbury quad collection by getting these, so I'm so excited. We're going to put those on, but I did want to show you the next eye product that I got. This is a brand new product. It is the Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Pillow Talk. At first, I was like, Ugh, I don't know. I already have a pink Eyes to Mesmerize, but I seized the opportunity and I picked it up, so it got a little bit melted in shipping. This is what it looks like. It's a cream shadow. I like to use these more so as bases or as simple washes of color. Here is what it looks like. It's a bit deeper, a bit more mauve than I was expecting. It looks beautiful. There's no traces of glitter in here. It's very, very smooth, so I'm going to see how I can incorporate it into today's look. I'm going to put a bit of eye primer on. Let's get to business. I'm going to do something simple because these tones are so gray, but my cheeks are so pink, so I don't want it to be too gray. I'm going to hop into the Uptown Girl, and I'm going to use this shade right here. It does have a shimmer to it, but what's special about Charlotte Tilbury is her shimmer shades can be used in the crease without emphasizing too many of the fine lines. It really is such a unique formula. It doesn't contain shimmers that are going to emphasize those bumps and lines. It's just, it's not too metallic, which is perfect. And she formulates them that way. That's the intention. She is not afraid of the shimmer in the crease that we are taught to be. I mean, her formula just proves that you don't need to abide by those rules. I'm gonna take a clean brush 
we're gonna blend that out even more and bring that along the lower lash line this is definitely an underrated charlotte tilbury quad i really really like this one a lot we're gonna go into the deeper gray shade this one is a bit more matte i'd say it leans a little bit satin but compared to the other shades it's the matte shade in here. Just putting that right in the outer corner for some extra definition to the eyes. Okay, let's dig into the eyes to mesmerize. I love the combination of pink and gray. So we're gonna do that on the eyes today. So this blank space that I've left on the lid, the eyes to mesmerize is going to fill up. Isn't that pretty? It's an unexpected duo, but it looks so good. Let's use a brush to get a little bit more of a precise application. That's cute. We're gonna go in with the pop shade now, and I'm gonna put this in the center of the eyelid, right over top of that pink. And then finally, we're gonna use this shade right here. We're gonna highlight the inner corner of the eye, right beneath the brow bone. And I wanna add a little bit more depth right in the outer corner of the lash line. So I'm taking this refer brush, it's number 12, and I'm just patting it right down here. Beautiful. I'm going to put on liner and lashes and we will be back to finish the lips. All right, we are on to the last two items. I picked up two lip cheats. I absolutely love her lip liner colors and both of these I've had before. So the first one that I chose was Pillow Talk Medium 2. This is actually the lip liner that I used on my wedding day. I got another one of these. This is like a really great everyday lip liner to make your lips more juicy. I don't have this. I think my mom does. This is Love Trap. This is the second one. They kind of look very close. <laughs> now that I'm looking, it's a little bit more mauve -y, purple purpley, whereas Pillow Tuck Medium is a little bit more warm. I'm going to use Love Trap today. This is not part of what I picked up, but I'm going to use Super Nude on top. Okay, and here's the final look. I'm going to back out and give you my final thoughts on all of the items that I got. Today's haul was really about refreshing items. I picked up a couple of things that I'd been wanting for a while. I picked up a number of things that I've been wanting to try different colors of. And I'm just really enhancing my Charlotte Tilbury collection and knowledge. So I hope you had fun hanging out with me, trying the new Charlotte Tilbury products that I picked up, playing with more colors in the line, and sharing some of my favorites with you. And again, a huge thank you to Charlotte Tilbury tilbury for sponsoring today's video again if you are interested in anything that i spoke of today it will be linked down in the description box definitely check out the site for her summer sale that she's having you never know there might be something of interest to you and if you aren't subscribed to my channel i would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and i will see you all in the next one bye guys have a good one